Hi everyone, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluators. This is my second video about the count if formula. So if you haven't watched the first tutorial, I encourage you to do so first. Let's take a look at the data. It's satisfaction survey data. People could choose strongly agree, agree, disagree, strongly disagree, or did not attend for each of the questions. In the first video, I showed you how to do count if, and you had to type in strongly agree or agree by hand. And even though that was pretty fast, I'm gonna show you an even faster way using dollar signs to hold things constant. Let me show you how that works. Okay, we'll delete that and start over. Let's do equals count if. We have to select our range and use dollar signs to hold the 2 and the 46 constant. Put in a comma and now we need to select the criteria which is strongly agree and we don't want to type it by hand. Use dollar signs to hold the B constant. Close my parentheses and press enter. Okay so in the last video I had to type it in all over again into agree, disagree, etc. Didn't take too long but eh, this is even faster. Look you just drag it down Add these up just to make sure um, your total makes sense that you didn't miss anything. Now you take this entire section and because you have your dollar signs, there you have it. Satisfaction survey analysis completed in about a minute. So that's the count if formula. Thank you so much.